you for joining today's webinar. Today we're going to discuss your move from Guest to Service Cloud and how we can assist you on a one-to-one -one basis with this. Before we begin, just a quick note because Salesforce is a publicly traded company and when considering future developments or purchases, whether by us or with any other solution provider, you should always base your purchasing decisions on what is currently available. So let's start with some introductions. My name is Sarah Thomas. I'm a senior technical support engineer here at desk.com. I've been with Salesforce since 2016 and I'm based in Dublin, Ireland. I'm joined today by my colleague, Eric Fitzhugh, who will be assisting me with answering any of your questions at the end. Hi, Eric. Hi, guys. How are you? And lastly, before heading into our agenda today, I want to thank you for taking the time to join this webinar and also for being the reason Salesforce is so successful. Our customers are the real MVPs of Salesforce, and we appreciate everything you do to make our company great. Let's take a minute to review today's agenda and objectives. Today's session will focus on delivering, or sorry, on providing you with information on how you will be able to, or we will be able to help you transition from desk to service cloud with ease. So first we'll take a look at some of the awesome customizations our team has built out for you in your customized service cloud trial. Then next we'll discuss what migration packages we have to offer, and then the timeframes involved for each of these packages. Then we provide some guidance on how you can get prepared in-house for your move from desk to service cloud. After this, we will take you through a walkthrough of our process for migrating customers over to service cloud and what's involved, including showing you some of the great features we have built into service cloud for you. We'll follow this up with information on how to apply for migration assistance and squeezing in a little more time at the end, I'll point out some great resources you can avail of then open the line to questions. Please note that you are welcome to start posting your questions now in the questions panel, and we will endeavor to answer these live at the end of our session. This session is being recorded, and you'll receive this recording and a copy of the slide deck once the webinar has concluded. The desk.com team has worked tirelessly to create new features in Service Cloud to bring what's best about desk to the Salesforce platform. We've included features to assist with agent productivity, components to bring that much loved desk look and feel right into Service Cloud. And we've also pre-built some custom reports and dashboards so service managers can immediately start reaping the benefits of Salesforce's powerful reporting feature. Now let's take a look at what packages we have to offer you in order to get you set up and ready to go on Service Cloud. So first we have the DTM package. By availing of this, the desk.com team will set up a customized trial on your behalf and also migrate all of your desk data into Service Cloud for you. Once the migration is complete, we will send you an email to log into your new trial. It's important to note that this might have no effect on your current desk site. During the process, we will also assist you with your license swap over with your account representative. The time frame for completing a DTM package is between three to five business days. Time frames will depend on such factors as migration complexity and scheduling of our demo meeting. Another option you have to apply for is our mission easy move package. With this package, you will receive all of the assistance as with a DTM, but additionally, our team will also implement all of your desk setup in Service Cloud leaving you with more time to focus on your team's transition success and ultimately allow you to focus on your customers through this transition process. The implementation will include setting up your rules, filters, labels, and macros, as well as configuring standard support settings such as business errors, email auto responses and notifications, and groups and custom fields. You can also apply for assistance with setting up your customer portals, known as communities in Salesforce, during this mission easy move package. Again, timeframes will depend on such factors as migration and setup complexity and scheduling and training availability. But we do aim to have these completed and handed over no later than three weeks. It's important to note here that both of these packages come at no cost to you and are completely free. Now let's review quickly what you're going to see into, sorry, apologies. 
what can you do to help us get started? So first of all, we'd ask you to review your current desk setup and make sure that any rules, labels or macros that you're not utilizing or using anymore are switched off. Double check all your user settings and email settings and then determine your availability for meetings. Now let's review quickly what you're going to see today uh, through our demo. We'll start by showing you our process of trial setup and the data migration. And then we'll move on to Service Cloud and show you some of these great customizations we've built out firsthand, as well as taking a look at some of the implementation areas we tackle through the Mission Easy Move package. So let's dive in. Bear with me one second while I switch screens. And first, we're going to start with setting up your trial. So we've created this trial setup site. So if you go for the DTM package or the MEM package, the first thing we will do is fill out this form with our own details to start with. We'd add your company name here, and then we'd pick the domain for your site. So for today, I'm just gonna call it webinar test. Then what we would do is we would plug in your desk site here. So this is my test site for desk. And authenticate. Once you've done this, an email will be sent to us to log into your new trial org. Authentication failed. This sometimes happens. I just created a new trial with this desk site today. But we will get an email and then we would log into your new trial. And this is the page that we would land on. The next step would then be to migrate your data from desk into Service Cloud. And again, this will have no effect on your current desk functionality or setup. It's simply just creating a copy of your desk data in Service Cloud. So to do that, we go to the app menu. We click on our inbuilt desk migration wizard tool. So we'll see when this loads that you'll be able to choose to either migrate articles or cases or both. So we would run whichever migration you chose. So for now, let's go with a case migration. We click continue, authorize your desk site again. So your desk site would be put here and it'll bring us to this screen where we can choose what uh, data we're gonna pull over. So let's show you how that works. So first of all, we go with the users and here you'll see the different Salesforce profiles. What we'd usually do is migrate everyone as a standard user and then you can be upgraded to the system admin on our request. Next, we look at your groups and we create a group for each of the groups that you've added to your desk site. Next, we use companies in desk, they're called accounts in Salesforce. We pick the layout for the account page and we'd map all of your fields here by simply clicking and creating a new custom field for all of your company data. The same for contacts. Contacts are your customers. We'd add them to a contact layout. And again, we'd map all of your fields or create new ones for all of your customers fields. Lastly is the case migration. So first of all, we choose to migrate all of the data and then add this to the case layout page. Again, we simply map all of the fields available to create new custom fields for them. And then we would click start migration. We won't do that today as we already have a test site ready to go with migrated data. So let's swap over to that right now. So with the MEM package, we would continue by configuring desks set up for you in Service Cloud. With the DTM package, once this migration is complete, we would be able to then trigger a reset password link to you to log into your new trial with your data. So let's look at what Service Cloud looks like. So this is the Service Console. This is the equivalent of the agent panel in desk, and this is where you will do most of your work from Service Cloud. So if you were continuing on with your package and you were going for mission easy move, the first thing that we would do is look at all of your filters in desk and map those into Service Cloud. So I'm going to do one of those right now for you just to show you how we do that. So in Service Cloud, filters are called list views and they're not placed down the left hand side as you're used to seeing in desk. They're here in this drop down list and you list your filters here called list views. To create a new list view, you simply click on this and click new. So let's just call it test list view. But this would be any of your you have in desk, we'd give it the same name, make it available to all users. 
and then save. Now we're just waiting for the filtering options to load. Here we go. So this is just like in your filters in desk, you have options to add conditions to your filter to show certain cases based on whether they have a certain label applied or a certain custom field value. So we're going to do the same here. We're going to create a filter for all cases, not just mine. And then we're going to add a second filter. So let's add a filter for case origin, for example. All cases that come through by phone, we're going to click done. And now we've created a filter for those cases. Okay. Another great thing that you can do inside the service console is you can actually update these columns. Unlike desk, you also have far more options of what fields you'd like to display in your columns. So you'll see all the available fields here. So let's go with case origin again, and we can simply pull that over. It'll pop itself to the bottom of the list. So let's move that up so we can see it a little better and save. So now we've got our case origin list. So now we know that this list view contains all phone cases. We can also simply go back and remove it at any point. So that's your filters. So we would continue to set those up by creating new list views for each. So let's take a look at what it would look like to create your macros. So I'm going to open up a case here. So in Service Cloud, again, you can create your macros directly from the console itself. There's no need to go into the admin panel. And we do it right down here in this little utility bar. So what we would do is we would go into your desk site, review all of your active macros, and then recreate them here in Service Cloud. So once we've given our macro a name, we just need to edit the instructions. And it'll bring us to this really cool macro builder screen. So with the macro builder, you can simply target elements of a case that you want to update when a macro is applied. So let's say we want to resolve all cases when this macro is applied. So we want to resolve this case. We simply click on the case details panel, click on the status field, and we want to tell the macro that when I apply this macro, I want you to close that case for me. Scroll down, save button, and it adds action. And we can also go in here and send an automated email out to our customer if we're resolving their case. We simply click on the feed, click on email, and then click on the email uh, text box. And in here, as you can see, you can also add full HTML to this text box. So this case is resolved. And we're going to save that. Great, so our changes are saved. We can close this window, close our macro name, and we're going to refresh our screen and apply that macro now to our case. So as part of MEM, what we would then do is continue this process and review all your macros and add them in this exact way. Double click on the macro name to launch it. You see now our case is closed. And our email part didn't work. Apologies, everyone. Slight glitch there. But what you usually see is your email response written out here, and then you have the ability to send that. So that's how we would set up your macros. So let's take a look at setting up some of those ever important custom fields in Service Cloud. So we're going to head into the admin area now of Service Cloud by clicking this large gear icon and clicking on Service Setup. So in desk, you can have custom fields for your cases, you can have custom fields for your customers and custom fields for your companies. The same applies to Service Cloud. Simply, you would click on this object manager. Case and contact are right here. So we're in a desk site and we're taking a look at a customer's custom fields and they have a number of case custom fields, for example, one for color. So what we would do is we would click on the case object, click on fields and relationships, and then click on new. And we're going to create a field that is a pick list. It's important to remember that you have plenty more options of data types when you're creating custom fields inside Service Cloud. So we're going to make this a pick list and we're going to click next. 
and we're just going to call it color. I'm going to spell it the Irish way. <laughs> and let's go with red, blue, and green. Just for our example, we're going to click next. We're going to make that available to certain profiles. So these would be the profiles that you saw in the migration tool. We made everyone a standard user uh, as default, and then we upgrade certain members of your team to system admin when you have access. So we've made this available to everyone on the team. We're going to click next and we're going to add it to the case layout and click save. So let's go back to our console for a moment and open up a case. So when you're in your case, you have your feed and your details panel. So as you'll see here now, my new color field has been added to our details, but that's not that helpful. It's all the way down here. It's not that easy to update. So really we want to pop it in the case details panel for you. So any you know, utilized fields that are used all the time by agents, you would simply tell us what you need in your case panel and we would add that there for you. So let me show you that happening right now. So while we're still in admin, in our object manager on our case object, we're going to scroll down to buttons, links and actions. And what we would simply do is we would, our update case with CSAT, that is our action that we've added to this panel. I'll show you where this relates to later. And we're gonna, we're not gonna delete it. No, nope. we're gonna edit the layout. <laughs> and as you'll see here now, my color field is available for me to pull in. So I'm gonna pop it in under the case owner. Okay, and then I'm gonna click save. Now, this might take a few minutes to populate. So straight away, don't panic. It will be added eventually. There we go, happens straight away. So now we've got our color pick list available to agents in the case details panel, and we can update that on the case straight away. So this is how we would work with your custom fields. But let me show you a bit more about this case layout now. So we're gonna click on this large gear icon again, and we for this, we can simply edit our layout by clicking on edit page. So this will take you to the Lightning App Builder. What the Lightning App Builder does, is it allows you to pull in components, standard or custom, into your case view and drag and drop any items. So we can delete components, we can rearrange components, and we can add new ones. Okay, pull them all the way out, great. So you've got these list of standard components here that you can add to your case view for further productivity reasons. But if we actually click on our case details panel, you'll see here that our update case with CSAT action was the action that we saw in our case object here. And we've added this to this panel, meaning that on updating this and adding fields to this update case with CSAT, your custom fields are available for you to see on your case. So let's take a look at what setting up your rules might look like. So back to admin and clicking on the home, we're gonna show you Process Builder. So Process Builder is a powerful tool in Salesforce that allows you to create rules for certain workflow processes. So I've pre-created one to show you here in our uh, webinar, but all of these processes are pre-installed into your trial org for you by the desk.com team. They are the uh, processes that would relate directly to your default rules in desk, such as reopen pending and closed cases, send auto acknowledgement emails, all those important ones that we use on the daily. But I've created this simple one just to show you what process builder looks like in action. So I've created a process that looks at the case object. What we're going to do with this process is we're going to close out any cases that come through into your console that have the subject of out of office because we don't want those cases, we want to get, get, get those out of our queue quickly and because they're usually uh, auto responders from your customers. So we target the case object. What part of the case object, we're gonna target the subject of the case. So you can see here, I've said subject equals out of office. And my action is to immediately close the case. So I'm changing the status immediately to close. And that's the rule, done and dusted. So with this powerful tool, you can see that because you have the process flow, it's very easy to kind of pick certain fields and create certain processes and workflows on your cases in no time. 
So we would go through your desk site, review all of your rules, inbound, outbound, created, whatever rules you have set up, and we would recreate these as processes. We also have further types that are uh, native to Service Cloud. They're called uh, auto response rules and case assignment rules. So those would work for your assignment rules and your, those auto acknowledgement rules that you have. You can use, we would use those instead of processes to set up those assignment rules for you. Finally, we'll use some of the uh, recommended setup flows and we'd also encourage you to use some of these recommended setup flows after being handed back your pre-configured trial. An example of this would be your social channels. So in order to set up social channels in desk or service cloud, you would need to have access to that business account. So service cloud has, have added these really cool setup flows to help you get those channels set up really quickly and easily. For example, Facebook. If we open this little tile, you'll see we're four steps away. What it will do is make you agree. Then you would pick the uh, business account that you're logged in in the same browser with click start and then it would link that as a channel and directly now cases will start coming into your service cloud console from Facebook. The same applies for Twitter. We have a cool setup flow for that also. And lastly, we would advise you to use our email setup flow. So this would be the setup flow for adding those ever important inbound mailboxes into service cloud. So you'll have your inbound mailboxes in desk we would not pre-configure those in Service Cloud for you. These would be pre-configured or configured on the day of go live. So the day you're ready to stop using desk and use Service Cloud instead, you would route your emails to Service Cloud instead and use this email to case setup flow to do so. And that concludes most of what we would do in a mission easy move. There are also some areas that may be customized specifically for your desk site. And any customers that have a support center or support portal or multiple support portals using multi-brand for their customers, after this MEM is completed, this mission easy move is completed, we would then assign you a member of our team to assist you with setting up those on Salesforce. So support centers on Salesforce are known as communities. And you get this as an add-on when you switch from desk to service cloud, absolutely free. So that concludes our demo for today. Bear with me while I get back to our slides. So how can you avail of either of these packages? So first we're going to host a poll. So we're just gonna launch that right now. And if you're interested in getting assistance with either of these packages, just check, check yes. If you're not too sure yet, maybe later, it's fine. So we're going to leave that poll open for just another minute to let you guys vote. Great, keep those votes coming guys, thanks so much. And we're gonna close the poll in just a couple of seconds. Okay, thanks everyone for filling that out. So if you're unsure about what package best suits you, no need to fret, you can reach out to us directly on our support center by filling out our demo request form or simply call or email our support team and they would be happy to assist you. So just before we get into our Q&A session, I wanted to bring your attention to this slide, which lists some clickable links to great resources to help you learn more about Service Cloud and all the benefits of making this move. So that concludes our webinar for today. So we're gonna have the remaining time we're gonna use for open Q&A. So keep those questions coming in the questions panel and we'll endeavor to answer those live.
So great question here. When migrating users, you cannot migrate an admin as an admin. I think I heard you say that uh, we had to request to set someone up. Is that correct? Uh, no. So when you're mi when we're migrating users across, we just by default choose the standard user, just so that you can then go in and pick who you would like to be admins. Another great question. Can we interact with our customers through the trial account? So yeah. So basically, you have some options when moving to service cloud so we would give you this trial and if you choose to add your email to that directly straight away and start using it to kind of practice with your team and switch off desk and um, or use both kind of at the same time if, if you can work out a system for making sure cases don't get um, responded to at the same time yes you can absolutely use it and um, this trial would then become your production org so it would just automatically become a production org once you swapped your licenses and um, so i hope that answers your question if you need more clarity on that just let us know just another one there if we decide to switch to service cloud how long would a typical account configuration take so that would depend on whether you went for the dtm or the mem package so the dtm as sarah mentioned is usually three to five business days so that's that that's the shorter time frame for your dtm and then your MEM package, it can take up to three weeks. That depends on scheduling of, um, of meetings and handovers and then setup complexity. Another great question. Uh, does it include a contact page? And if so, uh, does the page include labels the customers can select to auto-populate the cases? So yeah, this is what you would consider, consider the uh, support form on your support portal. Customers can submit cases there and they would come as uh, web cases. So again, in Service Cloud, this is the communities feature. So your portal is communities and you get this add on free. You would add your form to your community with your custom fields and your customers can add those values before submitting their case. Okay, just another one there. Can you share that last slide with all the links? Yeah, so you, you're all going to get a recording of this webinar as well as the slide deck that was presented with that, with that last slide with those links in it. Okay, so another great question. Um, is there an equivalent to labels in Service Cloud? So this is a very popular question that we get. The simple answer is no. But the slightly more complex answer is we can create a, a version of labels in Service Cloud for you. So as you saw with that custom field creation, we would create a multi-select pick list that would have your label values in there. We'd add it back to your case details panel and you can label cases in that way. The reason it's done this way in Service Cloud is for reporting purposes. So tags don't really exist as a Salesforce platform feature. However, they are on the way. There are customers asking for this. And this is another important note that if there are features on the Salesforce platform, service cloud specific, that you really want to see, we've got a huge customer community for generating ideas for the product roadmap. And um, so certainly post your suggestions there. The more suggestions we get around the same topic, the more likely it will be put into the product. Another great question there. How long will this offer be in place? So there's no time frame for this. You're free to apply for both DTM and MEM whenever you wish. Um, as we mentioned, you can either through that poll or you can reach out to our support team via our contact form or by phone um, and just ask us for assistance with either of those. Another question there, how much will the migration cost? So that's the, the beauty of these packages. They're actually completely free. Um, so there's no cost involved for yourselves. We will do that for you. We'll do the migration and then your actual license swap will work with your account executive with you to swap those licenses over. But the cost will be the same as what you're paying for desk.com right now. Okay, another great question. Is there an option to add images and hyperlinks when responding to cases? 
So yes, there absolutely is. Let me actually demo that for you straight away because this is a really popular new feature that we don't get in desk. So bear with me. So here we are in our email panel. We actually have rich text editing right here. So we can add images, links, and the formatted HTML, once you send that out to your customer, will, will appear in their inbox as formatted HTML. So images, links, whatever you can think of, nicely formatted, bold, italics, whatever it is, you can do all of that using this rich text editor now. So that was kind of a, an issue I think a lot of folks had with Desk was the, uh, the, the, the text editing and the formatting of your, your responses you know, was quite limited. But with Service Cloud now, we have uh, way more options regarding how we kind of design those responses out and, and, and create um, slightly nicer looking responses out to our customers. So I hope that answers your question. So, so another great question here. If you have a support page, will the articles from the support page be transferred to your new support page? And do you need to recreate your support page from scratch? So the answer would be yes. However, as part of this Mission Easy Move free package that you can apply for, we have a team here at desk.com that are implementing communities, which are your support pages, and um, for customers in Service Cloud. So with the article migration in the migration tool, first of all, we just migrate your articles all over formatted. And um, so they're all automatically added into Service Cloud and available to use internally by your agents. And then we would make those available on your portal, which is your community. And a member of our team would attempt uh, as close as possible, if not completely, to match your uh, support page's design from scratch. And we would do that in-house for you, um, or at least assist you if you were you know, potentially wanting to, to learn it yourself or, or make some updates or changes. We can certainly link you with someone to assist you on that. But as, as we said, it, it is a complete creation from scratch, but our team is going to handle a lot of that for you. Just another one that's come through there. Will you migrate my rules and macros? Yeah, so that comes through as part of the MEM package. Uh, we would migrate your rules across. Um, as Sarah demoed, that is, uh, they would be process builders in Service Cloud, which is a really, really great tool. Um, and then in terms of macros, we'll go through and create those macros for you. Um, if there's quite a large number of macros, we'll start we'll start by creating them, and we'll also teach you how to create them as well. Just another one there, is there training provided on how to use Service Cloud? Yes, yeah, so as part of as part of our process, we will organize a handover call with you for the MEM package, and that will include training just on how to use the, the service console and, and little bits and pieces like that. So thanks so much for your questions, guys. Keep them coming. We're getting loads, so we're just reviewing our list now to make sure we haven't missed any. So um, another one that's come in is, is there an area to save email addresses to forward the cases out? So I'm not sure, but my, uh, my assumption here is what you mean is more of like an address book. The answer is yes and no. You can add uh, folks as contacts, and then they're available, um, but we don't have necessarily an address book system. However, when you have already typed out an email in Service Cloud, your browser is going to remember that. So when you go to that to field, it's going to show you a list of, of folks that you've previously emailed and um, automatically based on the first letter that you type. So in that sense, they are saved, but there is nowhere that you would co could go and view those per se. Um, so I hope that answers your question. And just another one that we have there, can desk and Service Cloud be run concurrently while we migrate yeah so they, they can so what we'll do is when when you're swapping your licenses across your account executive and renewals manager would organize a courtesy contract with desk so what that means is that you'll get three months of desk usage while you're migrating across the service cloud and getting used to service cloud
going to finish up in a couple of minutes. So any last minute questions that you have, we're just reviewing our list of questions again. So keep those coming. They're great questions, guys. Thanks so much. Okay, guys, thanks so much for all of your great questions. Um, if we didn't manage to get around to your question today, please don't hesitate to submit a case to our support team and they'll be more than happy to help you. Once again, you will receive a recording of this webinar as well as the slides. So again, thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.